Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Ray. That's me. Holly. From Achievement Hunter. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Hey, so this is, uh, this is, uh, this is for The Walking Dead, episode one. Yes, yes, of it is. Of five? five? Five. Yes, I believe, I believe so. Yeah. This is a uh, arcade game. Mm -hmm. Kind of unique. It's episodic. Unique yep. in that it's only got 100 points. Yep. But I'm guessing it'll end up, I mean, if you play all five, I, w I don't know if they'll show us five different games or what. I'm not sure. This comes up to separately as yeah. on your gamer card. Yeah. I'm not I sure if it'll be like, it'll just add on to the one you have. Yeah, so it's either going to be one long arcade game that has 500 games. Yeah, score, it's I one guess. completion or it's going to be five completions. Yeah, but regardless, it's got 100 points, 10 yep. achievements. Um, and uh, achievement wise, it's 100% story based. Yeah, so, you like, can't miss anything, which is good. Are, yeah, it is good. And so basically, you play the game, and if you beat it, you get all the achievements. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's worth talking about because it's the game's kind of interesting. Yeah. I am not a fan of The Walking Dead. As a matter of fact, I dislike The Walking Dead. I am polar opposite. I love The Walking you Dead. You love it. You're yeah. like, yeah, you freaked out. Yeah. You were like... Girly hey, screams, yeah. everything. Ah, it was great. Yeah, you were like Gavin at a Justin Bieber concert. Absolutely. You, you Front row, take your shirt off, Justin. It's great. Yeah, I love you written on your chest and lipstick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. So, how would you say this game compares to the comics and the TV show? Well, it has... In the first episode, you run into two... Two people, I'm not gonna say who, from the the show and the comics. Everybody else is completely new, uh -huh. but uh, some of the settings are also very similar. So it kind of follows the the comics and the TV show a little bit, but it's at the same time it's still its own branching story. So everything was like familiar to you. The main characters, main are, characters, are not. Yeah, okay. I'd say eighty or like eighty percent, ninety percent of the characters are all brand new. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm trying to talk around because I, I don't want to spoil the game. Yeah, exactly. But I will say that it has. Apparently, the new go-to mechanic for fucking zombie games that I cannot stand. And what's that, Jeff? It is to pit a, an adult male with that's you a poor six or seven or eight year old little girl, and you have to protect them. You have one of those. I have. I have. A, I have one of those. Yes. Yep. And uh, from fucking Dead Rising Two, which was almost on, I almost couldn't play. And then the like, Dead Island thing was. And then the Dead worst. Island trailer was fucking. You know how I feel about that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Once again, of course, you're two minutes into the game, and suddenly there's a little girl, and her parents are dead, and you've got, well, we don't know if they're dead, but yeah. her parents are it's somewhere, assumed. and uh, you've got to protect a little girl from zombies, which is, as a parent, fucking, uh, Yeah. It's like, oh, I gotta, you know, these things are coming after you, sometimes I may not be able to save you, you may die in front of my eyes, it's kind of bad. Yeah. But uh, one thing that's kind of cool about this game, it's a telltale game, which means, obviously, it's a point and click. Point and click, yeah. But it, it, it plays a little... I don't know, more interactive than a typical point and click. It's kind I of would say. more actiony for a point and click. Like there's a lot more yeah. stuff going on. Like it's not just all like move around and I gotta find this for you. Sometimes there's like shit happening. You gotta be like, okay, I gotta be fast or you know, I'm gonna die or something like that. Yeah, there is a lot of like there, it's not, not like quick time events, but there, 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 there there's some, some quick time events as well. Yeah, but not as much as you would think. I will say, if you're not a fan of cutscenes. The, they're, this is very story driven. <laughs> you cannot skip these cutscenes, unfortunately. No, Jeff you can't. was having fun with that. It's also it's kind of interesting though because at every it, 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 like the story branches and based on your decisions, yeah, huh? like pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. Like you choose to make uh, like to let certain players live or die, and like there's a lot of situations where you can only save one person, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And uh, so it seems to really affect how the story goes and also like when you do something for a character they'll remember it and it'll yeah. let you know to be like yeah, so in the top left hand corner so and so know that you sided with them or against them or like is it, so and so knows that you lied and they'll remember that yeah like so, so if you say something to somebody else and later on you say something uh, completely different and that person's there they'll call you out on a lie yeah and then you'll look like an asshole and you don't yeah. want that it's definitely interesting because it definitely feels like um i guess like the relationships you're building are very heavily affected by the way you interact with people. Yeah, especially probably later on in the story as well. I'll catch up to you. Yeah, but I guess we should go through the achievements even yeah. though there's not much to look at. Um, First one is Out of the Frying Pan, complete chapter one of episode one. There's seven chapters in this game, so there's going to be seven of... Is it seven? I think it was seven, yeah. Seven. Anyway, there's going to be one for completing every chapter. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's only going to take you probably like an hour to two hours, maybe. Yeah, at most. exactly. Yeah. So like, here's, here's a, another example, chapter yeah. two of episode one. But uh, then... Like, here's one, the complete chapter four of episode one, but like I was talking about Rock in a Hard Place, this is one of those achievements where, I mean, it's a story-based achievement, but you get it after you make the branching decision. Yeah, you make a choice. And so there's, a there's I think there's probably three or four of those where, like, like ju yeah. it's just one bullet. Same thing here. Uh, that's actually probably the coolest part yeah, this of this is my favorite game. part of the DLC right here. Yeah, I really don't want to, uh, I really don't want to spoil it, yeah. but it's a pretty cool decision you have to make. You'll know when you get to it. Yeah, you definitely will. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, they're all 10 gamers score, and then the last one is worth, uh, I think the last chapter, chapter seven, is worth 15 mm -hmm. and then to complete episode one is worth 25 gamers yep. 
Very and, easy. Uh, yeah, very easy, very fun, cheap. I think it's only like four. It's only, it's only $5, yeah. Yeah, five bucks. And uh, it'll entertain you for about an hour. I don't know if I'd ever go back and play it again, but if you liked it enough, you could go back and play it again and probably get a, an entirely different, uh, I don't know. How to, outcome? Outcome, I guess. For the episode, yeah. For the episode, yeah. There is something cool at the end of the, uh, when you finish the episode, it shows you like, Stats for mm-hmm. everybody that played and see like, see like what you chose compared to like what the rest of the community chose. So that's kind of cool at the end. I will say that uh, when I went through it, I uh, I was in the majority on most of them, but the uh, decisions were pretty even. Like it was like fifty five percent of the people did this, yeah, forty five percent of the people did this. It's interesting to yeah. see how everybody like. There was I think there was only one of the choices that was like seventy eight percent of the people chose this. Yeah, and I chose and, the other uh, twenty two because yeah, you know, and, I'm that guy. And it's you, did you really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, well, uh, that's it for this game. Uh, pretty cool, very cheap, very fast. And uh, I think they're going to come out monthly, by the way. I'm not sh- oh. not 100% sure if they're going to come out monthly. Usually Telltale does monthly yeah. things, so look for the next one in May, I guess. Yeah, all right, there you go. There you go.